I lost my father when I was really young. I have no memories of him. And I lost my mother when I was eight, nine years. After I finished my high school, I went to England. I learned English there, and then I transferred to United States in 1961. So I basically have all my college education in the United States. In 1969, I started my uh, medical education in Kansas City. Then after I graduated, I did my internship in Carson City Osteopathic Hospital. That's where I met your mom. After she was released from the hospital, she would come to the hospital for different reasons and each time would try to meet with me. And then in 1977, she proposed to me. She said, I wanna marry you, make you happy. And she said, honey, I love you so much. I love you so much that I'll go with you anywhere in the world just to be with you. You were desperate, weren't you? You actually abducted your child back. Is that advice that you would give to too many women? I didn't abduct my child back. Matab and I both were originally abducted because we were wrongfully detained in Iran, and all we did is escape from that retention. She was free to go out any time that I called her on the phone and said, Betty, let's go shopping, or Betty, let's go to the bazaar, or she was always free to go with me. Dr. Mahmoudi was giving permission for Betty to leave. He was asking her to keep the, to wait a little bit before going with the child. For what reason, I don't know. But um, Betty didn't want to wait. I think he, uh, he never expected that, if, for example, his uh, wife and his, uh, his child would escape. And I don't see why he wouldn't give them permission to go. Do you think it could have been possible for them to travel to States together? I think it was possible, yeah. Why did they escape then? Uh, well, if uh, you want to write a book and you want to make money, you, uh, in the States, you have to sensationalize it. And that, uh, that sells. Do you believe that Betty and Mahtab escaped through the mountains? I, I thought about this in the past. I often wondered about it, and I find that really hard to believe because I've been living here for a long time, and I know the geography of this country, and so I, I just can't imagine how she was able to do it with a little baby, and, and she went in a, in a season that was very cold. and. Um, I don't think she did. This is my gut feeling, but I don't think she escaped through the border. Aziza, when you were born, situation um, in Iran was not stable. The people had started a revolution against then government of Iran. Let's face it, the revolution was basically against the American interest. You know, 25 years prior to that time, in 1953, the American CIA had made a coup d'etat against the popular government of Iran. And Iranian people were not happy about it because that government that the United States overthrew, people loved. I supported the revolution because the revolution was nullifying the effects of that uh, coup d'etat. Uh, this was misinterpreted by my friends, my colleagues at work. So for this reason, they were mistreating me. So when you were born, the situation was not easy. 
political relationship between Iran and the United States were not uh, the best, at least to say. And that caused lots of troubles for me in the States. I was in Alpena, Michigan, when they occupied the American embassy in Tehran. But your grandma would have always argued with me, would hate me because of that. Oh my gosh, I had nothing to do with it. Here I am, an Iranian sitting in Alpena, Michigan. She was not talking to me right ways, you know, she was just grudging and so on. Because, as she said it, the Iranians had taken American boys in, uh, in custody. So what could I do about it? So you see, they punished me because I was an Iranian because of the actions that was done outside my control. So here we are in Babel, city of Babel. Here's the University of Medical Sciences of Babel. یک واحد رو تشکیل میدن در کتابش هم بتی مرتب میگه که مهتاب ان آی ما چنین صحنه اصلا ندیدیم و جالب این است که گوش بدیم بچه دکتر محمودی now spends much of his spare time lecturing at universities and schools in an attempt to clear his name I never saw any bruises on her. I never saw her with the black eye. No, I never saw anything like that. No. All about Matab. No, never. Moody loved Matab. He was crazy about her. And the same with Matab. She loved her daddy maybe even more than Betty because he was putting a lot of attention on her. He was pampering her and spoiling her and buying her everything she wanted. She was crazy about her dad and, and, and vice versa. شما در گفته هایتان آیا به گونه ای تحت تاثیر شعار هایی که در جامعه امروز ما وجود دارد قرار نگرفته اید؟ فقط بیتی خودش نقش داشت یعنی اکثریت به صدا این قریب اتفاق موضوعی که تو فیلم اتفاق افتاد خود بیتی تحریف کرده بود یا کسی دیگه پشت ما جده بود؟ بیتی اهل نویستندگی نیست سوادش هم یه دیپلومس فقط اهل نگارش نیست یه کسی به نام آقای ویلیام هافر یک مرد این کتاب واسهش نوشته ویلیام هافر یک نویسنده صهیونیست که همه میشناسنش این آقای ویلیام هافر قبل از این کتاب بتی کتابی نوشته بوده به نام میدنایت اکسپرس بر علیه فرهنگ ترک ها نشون میده که یک جوان آمریکایی میره در ترکیه مواد مخدر قاچاق بکنه ترک ها میگیرنش ترک هایی که گرفتنش هم جزمات هستن خیلی از زدش میکنن بلا 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 خیلی داستان رو مفصل میکشه همون داستان منابطی رو گرفتن به ظاهر ولی اسلام و ایران رو کبوندن اونم داستان و قاچاچی آمریکایی رو گرفتن ترک ها رو کبوندن این سابقه نویسندگی آقای بیگم حافر هست حالا خدا میدونه دفعه بعد کدوم کشور رو مورد نعنا تن After all of this happened, and, and um, I got to really thinking about all the, the things that were happening here, and I have come to believe now that um, all along she had a plan when she came here. Maybe she wanted to make a lot of money, and the timing was right. It was at the peak of bad relations between the two countries, our two countries. And maybe
maybe she saw this as an opportunity to make money, which she did, and, um, and maybe some people were helping her, I don't know. 